What's going on guys and welcome back to One Way Bay. What did we do last episode? Well, if I remember correctly, we worked on the Forest Square District. Um, we added a bunch of roads. It was a buildy, boring kind of episode. Um, but look at this. We're coming back into a new episode and there aren't a shit ton of problems. Finally, we get to like sit back and relax a little bit and just kind of take it easy this episode and you know what we don't have to deal with a ton of problems yet so um yeah I think it's gonna be a good episode I'm not sure what we're gonna do here we'll probably just end up expanding a little more but um the one thing that I got a suggestion kind of a suggestion or it brought to my attention that this district forest square which we need to rename uh, has the Mondo intersection in it, so why don't we just call it, um, the Mondo District? I like the Mondo District. It, it makes sense. It is the big time downtown district for now. Um, and it's got the Mondo intersection, which I think we can all agree is awesome and probably the best feature of One Way Bay at this point. And, hell, it might be the best feature... <laughs> by the end of this uh, this uh, series, but we all love Mondo Intersection. Mondo District, we're gonna love it just as much. Um, what was I looking at in... When I was going through and watching and editing the video last time, I think I noticed that this landfill, I think I should have put it over here because I, I think in my mind how the garbage collection should work in this game. I don't know if this is how it works, but I think it should work like this. Is the garbage trucks from the landfill should go out to the houses, pick up the garbage, come back to the landfill. And then the garbage trucks from the incinerator plants should come to here, to the landfill, pick up trash from the landfill, and go back to the incinerator plants and burn it all off. I don't think they're doing that. Uh, what if I say empty? Actually, what I need to first do this, and um, there we go. Like, kind of merge this over, because wait, where are they going? Oh, these guys are coming back. If I go to empty this, does it still send trucks out? Maybe not. This guy should just loop around here. Wait, no. This guy should just loop around here and go right to here. Yes. Okay, he's doing that. Um, these garbage reserves should be going down now. Oh, that's beautiful. But now they're going back up, so okay. Um, yeah, we need to do that. We need to, I think, maybe put one more landfill in and try to work the system that way. I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully it is. This one's still emptying. When this one empties, I think we'll move it over to here and we'll try this system out a little bit. So that's that's the future of One Way Bay's trash receptacle system. I might have to micromanage that a little bit, but it's fine. Um, what can we do this episode? How far away... Wait, no one comes to pick up the dead. Oh no, do we have a dead problem? What? Where? Where's Julie Cook? Is she dead? Uh-oh, I think Julie Cook might be dead, or she literally moved out of the city. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's a problem. What is this? Is this a high school? Yeah, that's the high school. Yeah, we have... We need, like, a lot of money. Let's speed this up a little bit. We need a lot of money because we need a lot of, like, schools and, like, public services for One Way Bay at this point. Which we do not have. Um... Mm, yeah. I think I'm going to start plopping down some parking lots around here. Actually, I think I might just start plopping down parking lots, like, everywhere. Because I was looking at uh, One Way Bay just does not have a lot of parking lots. And really, we need to. What is this? Admirable Park, Airport Observation Park, 4x4 parking lot. There we go. We need to start uh, allowing our, our citizens to park and stuff, because, I don't know, real cities have a shit ton of parking lots, and One Way Bay does not have a lot of parking lots at this point. 
Uh, nor does it have a lot of parks. So, that's something we should deal with eventually. And then, where is the... Oh, I should show you guys this park. This park is awesome. Oh, you know what? This park's going right here. No, this park's going right... This park's going right here. Boom. This park I built, it's awesome. It, well, it should have been flattened, but yeah, uh, people park here and they can come and get on these and just go, oh, that's a, that's a problem. Go over, I guess I should have planned that better. Hmm. My bad. <laughs> My bad. We'll put this over here like this. Um, actually this railroad can go down now. Do I want to deal with that now? No, I think I'll just... I'll bring this up and then... Back down over it. There we go. Oh, don't. Oops. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And we'll kind of twist this around a little bit here. And connect it in there. Cool. And I guess I should do this too, because it just looks weird right now. Uh, that's going to look weird either way. Oh well. Alright. Connect this back up. This whole area is going to be redone sooner or later. But, oh no! Damn it! Stupid power lines. What am I doing with that? Actually, you know what? Hold the thought. I'm going to take these power lines out. Because I'm just going to reconnect them over there. From like over here. Because it just makes a lot more sense. So bear with me as I do this. Just half a second. Maybe. If I can not delete everything in the process. But we'll just kind of connect it straight up to here for now. Oh, come on. There it goes. And then when that fills in, that'll, you know, fill that up and blah blah blah. So... Alright, we are back. There shouldn't be any poo problems because of that, but you know, one way, bo one way bay, you never know what's going to happen. We've seen weirder stuff happen. Okay. We got some parking lots. Did <laughs> what? Somebody parked here. Why? <laughs> Why did you park there? <laughs> He's like, I don't want anyone screwing with my car, so I parked out of the city. Is this him? Carl Harvey. Earl Crowley. Are we gonna see a are we gonna see a Grand Theft Auto in process? Let's watch this. This could get interesting. Oh my god. Come on. What the hell? Carl Harvey just vanished. Oh number of visitors last week, one. Mm, number number of survivors, zero. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna be honest, that was weird. All right, let's not talk about that. Actually, that was supposed to be big. Um, yeah, I think one of the things that I was looking at... I was looking at One Way Bay, and what I think I want for the future of One Way Bay... I want pretty much, like, High Density to be here. I think I've said this before. High Density to be, like, the Mondo District, and then, like, around kind of the bay to be High Density. Old Bay may turn into high density, we'll see what happens with it. But, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to do that. But then at the same time, I was thinking, like, a real city? You know, it doesn't just pop up with skyscrapers all over the place. It starts small and then eventually grows up because they run, a, run out of space. So maybe we'll start doing that. Maybe we'll start bringing in, um, you know, low low density things. And then when we need to we'll start expanding up higher. I don't know, it's a thought. I don't know if I'm gonna do it for the Mondo District. I think we'll just plan that the way it needs to be done. But maybe around here, we'll start with like a low density thing and then over time we'll grow it into a, we'll upgrade it into be a high, high density area. I think that's a good idea. I also think this should be office. Our offices look, this was an office, right? No, this is, Wait, is this office? Office building. We have some well-educated people. No highly educated people. So, I don't think they're moving in. Are they? 
Didn't I have another office district around here? Office building. They don't need any. That's weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Alright, well, we got some crime issues. Uh, oh, We should speed the game up. We need some money. Because we need a hospital, like, right now. We need a hospital, like, yesterday. So, how much is a hospital? It is 80? 80, 81. Hmm. Maybe that's the plan for this episode, to get a hospital. It's a little late in the episode already. A little bit. But, we need a hospital. Let's try to get it. And the way we're going, uh, we should get there eventually. But let's, um... Let's start, yeah, more, more commercial, and let's try to bring in some tax revenue. And we'll do something like this, and some high density residential, oh, I did not, why didn't I click on it? Oh, well, <laughs> that's all commercial now, oopsies. Um, yeah, maybe we'll put like a park here, that's a good idea. Like a real park, though, not like a parking lot park. Although the triple park is awesome. No, that's already a parking lot. Let's put it over here. The triple park is one of the nicer parking lots that I've made. Um, what do we want? A small playground? Sure. Kids in this area don't have schools, but damn it, they're gonna get a playground. And everybody's gonna be happy about it. Nice. The Sunken Plaza is amazing. It's a great mod. And I think the like the developers actually tweeted it out once. So that's how I picked it up. That's a great mod. Uh, I got the Japanese Garden. I don't remember how I unlocked that. I think that's an unlock. And Paradox Plaza is from signing up for their newsletter or whatever. Putting their email address in. I'll put one of those here. Why not? It helps the area. We need industrial. So I think maybe we'll start... Should we put industrial up here? No, because we have to, like, figure that out. That'll be, like, in a future episode. Um, let's, I guess, expand this zone a little bit up here. New building. Oh, yeah, police stations. Well, luckily, we don't need police stations that much in this episode, or in this, uh, series. Oh, that's one thing I needed to talk about. Um, After Dark's coming out soon. And I plan on getting it. Uh, if you couldn't, you know, assume that already. Um, what's gonna happen with One Way Bay when After Dark comes comes out? Uh, well, hopefully the the expansion, the day night cycle. If you if you haven't looked at After Dark yet, it it adds a day night cycle, so we're gonna get nighttime in the game. All of these buildings are gonna have lights rendered. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a huge update. I believe that comes in a patch. Um. And then, uh, they're adding, like, taxis, bikes, and a bunch of, like, networking, like, bus... Like, there's gonna be a bus hub, so instead of having, like, what I did over here with, like, two bus stops, there's gonna be one building where the buses, is, buses are gonna go in, uh, and then drop people off. They're all gonna just chill in the building, and then the buses are gonna leave, so you can have, like, a bunch of routes going to one, um, bus hub. That's going to be cool. And then there's going to be taxis. Did I say taxis yet? I don't know if I didn't. There's going to be taxis, which is going to be awesome because it's going to boost, like, tourism. And the whole thing's going to be overworked. It's going to be awesome. Now, with One Way Bay, if the update doesn't, like, explode the old saves, I will just keep playing One Way Bay. I want to keep playing One Way Bay anyway. I'm not sure. I think the update comes at the end of September. Um, hopefully, if I can grind One Way Bay out to complete the challenge, which is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, what is this, ranks away or whatever, we might be able to do that, and then when, uh, After Dark comes, maybe we'll start a new city, a new playthrough or something. I do plan on doing that. Um, but yeah, if the game breaks... One Way Bay, mm, I don't want to lose One Way Bay, but I am going to want to play the new patch, so it's going to be a 
is going to be a game time situation. Like I said, hopefully it uh, doesn't break the old saves and we can just boot this up and it'll just be like a day night time thing and everyone's going to be happy. But you know what? We'll see it when it happens. But all right, and all of my ramblings, we have enough money for a hospital. Which actually, no, what? Everybody's okay now. Oh my god. Everybody's healthy. Should we get like a high school instead? Should we work on our education? Probably. <laughs> Alright, this is a tough call. Not really. Kind of a tough call. You know what? Yeah, let's let's put a high school in now. We'll put a, a high school like here. And maybe we'll put one more education uh, elementary school. Yeah, we'll put one in like up here. It's not gonna have any uh, electricity at the moment. So we'll build that up and hopefully some buildings will come in and, you know, fix that. It should pop up real quick. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I think this episode's running a little long. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It seemed like a really quick episode. Hopefully it feels like that when you uh, you guys are watching it. But, um... Oh, is this finally done? Finished. Alright, let's relocate this over to here now. And, actually, we could do it, like, right here. Wow. Interesting. Hopefully it still works. Right? And we'll... Go. Go. Go, garbage truck, go. Anything... There it is. Okay, nice. Figure that out. I don't, still don't know why all these trucks are turning around in here. Can you not, please? But, uh... Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. We have power issues. And poo problems. And tons of other shit's happening. Not like poo shit, but like, you know, situational shit. Anyway, we'll figure that one out in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, share, you know, whatever you want to do. I'll see you guys in the next One Way Bay. And until then, I thank you for watching. Again. <laughs>